Good morning, everybody. My name is Inga Cotton. I'm the founder and executive director of San Antonio Charter Moms. And um, while we're uh, all trying to stay safe at home, I've been going online at, uh, around this time each day to talk about you know, what's on my mind, what the readers in the San Antonio Charter Moms discussion group are talking about, um, you know, how to keep your kids learning and how to stay safe and healthy um, you know, while the, everything, the world is kind of different because of uh, coronavirus. So um, this week we've been talking about uh, the transition to summer and you know kind of trying to kind of look on the bright side about you know what activities we can do. Um, next week we're going to take that a step further. Um, we have a blog post coming out on Tuesday on the theme of learn everywhere. That that there's really a lot more pot possibilities out there than we may realize about ways to keep our kids learning. And that's going to be especially important in uh, after the end of May when. Uh, kind of the school year ends, and, you know, because for the time being, we're working on distance learning packets. But um, in June and July, it's going to be kind of on us to keep our kids busy and learning. And uh, in my experience, when you're learning, you feel like you're growing and it gives you a sense of optimism. It, in some ways, it's it's uh, better for my for me and my kids. It's better for our mental health to be um, actually doing, you know, it's almost like homeschooling rather than the just um, kind of veg and just trying to entertain ourselves in the summer. Um, so that's what we've got to look forward to next week. I'll post in the Facebook event uh, what some of the topics are. So if you want to pick a particular day uh, to tune in. And we do have more more guests uh, coming up um, on, on Charter Ross Chats next week. So uh, in particular, today, I'm going to talk about the Greenway Trail system here in San Antonio, because that has been a real sanity saver for my kids and me. It's a place where we can go outside, um, even while you know, the city's been under a stay at home order, even on Easter weekend, the Greenway trails were still open. And that's because they're, they're a great place to practice social distancing while being healthy. Um, you know, and you and your immediate family can, um, can hang out together. So, so that's, that's the topic for today. And I hope it, it uh, inspires you uh, to give it a try, maybe this weekend or maybe later today. Um, so I can see the comments. So if you have a, a question or a thought about, you know, if you have a favorite spot on the Greenway trails, um, you know, feel free to chime in. So uh, in our house, okay, so, um, okay, you can go online. I'll add it to the description. You can go online and the, it's on the um, City of San Antonio Parks and Rec website. They have uh, in, some information about the Greenway Trails. Um, personally, I kind of wish there were like a more detailed guide to where the trailheads are, but for us, it's been kind of a fun exploration to, you know, pick a stretch of trail and then, you know, look at the map, look at Google Maps, try to find a particular trailhead. Oh, hey, Freddie says hi, hi, Freddie. Um, and, you know, so try to kind of go right trailhead by trailhead and um, and get to know the trails for ourselves. So, but, but definitely, okay, so this map in particular, this is what kind of hangs, uh, well, let me back up a little bit. So in, my, in our house, we have a map wall, which you can tell we like maps because my backdrop is the, the free, um, this is from like the, um, you know, Texas Department of Transportation, like the free the free map you can get, which and it has a little. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's like little little puff balls stuck that, that um, we set this up. Maybe oh gosh, maybe around December, January, we set up this map. And the idea is that as we explored more of Texas, because you know my kids are getting to an age they're ten and twelve, they have the patience to do a little more road tripping than I'm just. I when they were little, I just wimped out. Like we didn't really didn't travel that much. We mostly stayed in San Antonio. I did not. I do not like being in airports or on airplanes with small children. <laughs> I'm. I just no. I don't like airport. I don't like airplanes in general. But um, doing it with small children, especially small children who are sick or not sleeping well, or is like no. It's uh, those of you who travel often with small children, or at least did before the pandemic. Hi, hats off to you because. Um, but um, yeah, they're at an age where like they, you know, they can handle like you know. I've talked about how much I love visiting Houston. I really miss you know, just like a quick weekend trip to Houston to go to the museums. And that's just such a fun city. And, you know, I like Dallas, Fort Worth. I like Austin. Um, I love Corpus. There's there's just so much fun stuff to do in Texas. And that's so that's what that map is. Someday we will be adding more dots. Uh, we want to go to Marfa. We want to go to Alpine. We want to go to El Paso. Like there's so much cool stuff to do in Texas. Um, so that's, that's aspirational right now, that map. But uh, we have a different map wall um, in kind of in our kitchen kind of craft area it's kind of that away in our house and um on that's where we have like our big uh whiteboard calendar that we that we draw on which or well i kept i kept erasing right squirt squirt wipe off but um 
we have um well we've kind of changed it up so we had a, used to have a bunch of maps of like from like the witty and the art museum and the mcnay and the pearl and um it was making me sad to you know the when the museums were closed so what is i took down the old maps and the idea is that we'll add maps back as places reopen as we feel safe revisiting places um and so the current status is that we have maps for places that are open so we have let's see what have we got well we've got hardware park which oh tangent land bridge how cool is that right so they they put um i don't know if you noticed but like for a couple weekends um where's my parkway was closed and it's because they were installing these like giant steel arches that would span over all of Wurzbach Parkway. And um, they had already built kind of the supports and the pillars on the sides. And um, so, I mean, they're well on their way towards having a land bridge that's gonna connect both halves of Hardware Park. And that is super cool. And I'm also excited because once it opens, I mean, the, the parks, like Hardware Park has wonderful walking trails and actually it connects up with the Greenwell Trail System too. So this is this is on topic. See, I'm still on topic. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have a map of Hardware Park and we have maps of the um, some of the Texas state parks in the region that we've been visiting. So um, so yes, the map wall is, is hopeful. So yes, so this is also part of our map wall, but it's actually, um, Let's see, I was down at, we were down at the trailhead at Southside Lions Park, and I took a picture of the wall. And if you look closely, you can see kind of little drops of rain that were on the sign when you took a picture, but um, it's actually a really good map. And so what it, it shows like the different re kind of regions of the Greenway Trail system. Again, it's, you can find this on the internet. I'll add the link to the description. So, um, okay, so Greenway Trail system. It's part of San Antonio Parks and Rec. Uh, it's named after former mayor Howard Peak, uh, who is maybe not maybe not that well known, but like um, kind of kind of underrated as a San Antonio mayor because um, he, you know, his background was in like urban planning, and um, he loved his he loves his Harley, and uh, he was known for um, kind of judging the Rolex riders, <laughs> but just a very very real down to earth person and. Uh, I think it's great that the Greenway Trail system are are named after him because that's something that adds a lot to quality of life and it keeps his keeps his memory going. You know, as somebody who um, you know cared about quality of life in our city. So um, so yay, Howard Peak. Um, okay, so there's different. Okay, so yeah, the idea is is that a lot of the parks in our city um, are built in uh, floodplains, right? Because I mean, you don't want to build like a neighborhood in a floodplain, right? Houston, right? Okay, you're not supposed to build neighborhoods in reservoirs. Okay, so stop that, right? Okay, all right. So yeah, you're, if it's a floodplain, then it's better to have a park or a golf course or something like that instead of um, a neighborhood or a city because you know we do get um, you know heavy thunderstorms, we get flash floods, um, we get you know tropical systems that will come through. So. No, we do not want uh, those neighborhoods to flood. So it's better to have a park, right? So um, the Greenway Trail system connected up those parks and added like like linear parks along the creek beds, so that or the river beds, so that um, you could go from place to place. And that's that's like the genius of it is that it it takes like the existing park infrastructure, but then adds these connectors. To make this whole, like whole system, and then they're even they're even like filling in um, additional trails. So it's not finished yet; they're still building. Um, but they're adding connectors that will lead you from like one watershed to another. So if you're if you're like a you know sort of geography nerd or like really interested in water systems, like you can really geek out on this, you know, because um, it helps you really understand the hydrology of San Antonio, of like you know which um, you know which watershed goes into which creek. Um, and and it it really helps you understand like the history of the city too. So, um, okay, so like, all right, so I want to break this down into some like practical advice too. So, um, okay, so of course the San Antonio River is part of the Greenway Trail system, right? So there's the the Mission Reach that goes from basically from Southtown um, past like all of the missions the one but but well, the missions besides the Alamo right and um some of them are actually pretty close together so like one time I think we we parked at um uh gosh I could, mission San Juan and then like walked through to another mission and back and we did a loop and so now um one thing we usually walk on the trails but 
a lot of my friends take their bikes down there and you can cover a lot of territory on a bike. So, so we're kind of, you know, going like kind of inching along in the trail system because we're walking, but, um, but yeah, you can cover some serious territory. Um, so I think, okay, so yeah, so different, different zones, there's, um, the mission reach, um, and what's cool is there's a lot of public art along the mission reach. If you, um, you know, like where, the, and there's, there's a way to walk like from the mission reach trail to each mission. And there's a, like a portal. So like a, a large public art, um, object to kind of mark that, you know, from different artists. And, um, yeah, you can have, it's, it, it gives me, I really enjoy exploring the Green Bay Trails because it gives me a sense of discovery and finding new things that are new. And um, that that is a deep need in my personality is like the novelty seeking. Um, and, you know, so like, like I'm a Yelp elite member. I used to love like being one of the, you know, the first to review a new restaurant or, you know, um, I just, I, and I, and I, I miss that, you know, that's, that's one of the, that's one of the hard things about the pandemic for me, although that is, um, you know, first world problems, but, um, Oh, oh, Brady has a comment. She said they went to the Boo Hole on Wednesday. Um, they had visited Boo Hole earlier and there was water flow on Wednesday. It was dry. Yes, that is part of the, that is, that is a really good point. Okay, so the Boo Hole is the origin of the San Antonio River. And I, we actually, there's a blog post. I'll add that to the description. Um, I did a write up on San Antonio Charter Moms about like how to visit the Boo Hole. So it's on the campus of the University of the Incarnate Word. Um, and it's in an area of the campus called the Headwaters Sanctuary. And uh, the, the sisters take care of that area. It's um, you know kind of a wildscape, but there's a, a, a field of springs, and they they all kind of feed into what's the basically the creek bed from Olmos Creek, um, you know, from the Olmos Basin area. But the and then yeah, depending on how high the aquifer is, the Boo Hole is either flowing or it's not flowing. You know, because there's um, you know, in before European settlement, it flowed pretty constantly, but now there's a lot of wells that um that draw water and that you know if, if people have been irrigating um if we had a few weeks without rain then the water level drops and there's not the natural flow from the boo hole but which is why in the river walk they actually pump recycled water from lower downstream and that's a whole nother topic like the like maybe i need to have a guest from saws on here so they just explain like the complex hydrology of the river walk because it's it's fascinating it's kind of a fake river but it's really cool um so, but yeah, the, the, um, that, that is a wonderful place to visit. Um, it's, it's open, it's safe. Um, you just, you park at the Incarnate Word campus. Again, I'll share the link. It's got tips about how to, how to visit. There's a, there's a grotto, um, you know, it's, it's a meditative, you know, it's a, a spiritual place. Um, and, um, it's really powerful. So yeah, I'll share that too. So, um, but yeah, that's the origin of the San Antonio River. And there's, there's um, a short stretch of Greenway Trails uh, in the Olmos Basin. Um, that's, that's upstream from uh, the Boo Hole. Um, let's see, so okay, some of the other zones. But yeah, I, I have to say, if you're, if you're kind of new to the Greenwell, um, Greenway Trail system, then like the Mission Reach is a great place to go because you can see um, the San Antonio River, you can see the missions, you can see the public art. Um, that's just that's just a great that's a great area to go. Um, I'd say uh, the probably the part that we have visited the most often is the Salado Creek Greenway, and it's it is just it's huge. I mean, it goes it start starts like up here, um, up in kind of the Chavano Park area, like almost at Eisenhower Park. It's not connected up there yet, but and then there's there's a the, kind of the northern stretch that goes like past the airport, past, past McAllister Park. Um, like the Oakwell Farms area down to Fort Sam. And then there's kind of a break and then it picks up again, kind of at I-35 near Splashdown. And then there's a stretch that goes past MLK Park and all the way down to Southside Lions Park, which is where I got the map from. And um, I, we, we love that part of the trail and it's been fun to see it in different seasons. Like, um, and it's really fun to see the city like from river level as opposed to um, from like street level. So like we, you know, we'll be walking along the Greenway Trail, and um, like you wouldn't even know it, but like you're a stone throw from the AT&T Center, and then you walk a little farther, and you're walking under I-10, <laughs> and then you walk a little farther, and then meanwhile you're seeing like wildflowers and spider webs, and you know hawks, and um, just like all and and it's changing with the seasons, and you know the creeks might be full or they might be dry, and um, it just you know it just puts you in touch with um, what's happening in our city in a different way. 
Um, Let's see. Oh, Brady says her neighbors did a family bike ride on the Slater Creek Trail all the way from Tobin Trailhead at 410 to up to 64. That's super cool. Um, yeah, I mean, you can really cover the miles um, in a bike. And I have a, a neighbor, my neighbor Mitzi. Mitzi, I'll tag you in the comments. Like she posts awesome pictures of um, her bike rides. Um, and she does Slater Creek a lot. She does the Mission Reach. Um, she's covered lots of territory. Okay, so other, okay, so Mission Reach. Salator Creek, um, down, down, way down south, there's the Medina River area. We're just starting to explore that, but it's, it's really cool. It also goes by the um, Mitchell Lake area, which is really a popular bird watching spot. Um, okay, so the um, Leon Creek uh, trail system is huge. I feel like we're just barely scratching the surface of that one for our family. There is a, a, a stretch down on the south side near Pearsall Park, which is a really fun park. That's actually one of our favorite places to go fly kites. There's some really good kite flying hills. So they see fun social distancing stuff, right? You go fly your kite, um, stay away from other people, <laughs> have some fun, right? Try something new. Um, okay, but yeah, I, I think that the, these these areas up north, like to like Opie Schnabel Park, um, there's a trailhead near uh, Valero headquarters. Um, and uh, so my assistant, Laura, who's, um, she ran the Rock and Roll Marathon. I think she did some of her training runs up at the, starting at the Valero Trailhead. Um, it's one of those things where like, you wouldn't even, you can, you have to be kind of persistent to find some of these trailheads because, um, you know, it'll be like, you know, big office building, apartment complex, and then it's like little road. And then like, oh, that's where the trailhead is. Um, but once it's there, it's like you feel like you've unlocked the secret handshake and, and then you access city from creek level or river level and you're just experiencing the city in a whole different way. And, you know, it's family friendly. You know, um, I, I, I do recommend wearing masks, but technically if you're exercising and you're practicing social distancing, you don't have to wear a mask. Um, I just I, I have one of those um, neck gator things that I'll pull up over my nose. Those those are pretty breathable. Um, so do what you got to do, um, you know, as long as you're staying away from other people. And for the most part, um, the trails are pretty wide. So if you go to one side of the trail and the people coming the other way, go to the other side of the trail, um, you're, you're going to be, you're going to still be maintaining social distance. My pet peeve is the people who are walking like four abreast on the trail and just, you know, merrily along. And then I have to like bail out into the grass <laughs> to let them go by. But Oh, well, there's always a few people like that, but I say, don't let it spoil your fun. Um, you know, just, you know, bring, bring hand wipes, bring hand sanitizer. Um, you know, we tend to not, not eat snacks when we're out. We kind of eat our snacks once we're back in the car and washed up and, um, you know, things like that. Just, um, I'd say for the most part, it seems like the bathrooms are open now, although it, it depends. So like if you, um, we did find, so like the grounds of the missions were open when we visited, but the bathrooms were closed. So I had to find some bushes, but you know, it's okay. My, my dignity will survive. So um, let's see, I'm trying to think what else. I guess, how, like, how would this work? Like for, for younger kids, um, you know, if you're bike riding, you know, put them in a, in a bike seat or in a trailer, um, you know, combine it with, um, you know, an area where, um, there's going to be, you know, you know, maybe try to find like, you know, let them have some time to dig in the dirt or, you know, play in the wildflowers or things like that. Um, you know, ways to, I would say the greenway trails are more, uh, probably more for bigger kids where they have, um, it's just nice to have so much room, you know, to, I mean, they're, they're linear, but they're long and they go, they, the trails go on for miles and miles. Um, you know, the playgrounds are still closed. So, um, yeah, at least for the time being. Well, I guess um, swimming pools are starting to reopen, right? Although I don't know, swimming pools have permission to reopen. I'm not aware of any pools in San Antonio that are open at this time. But um, yeah, I would say like for big kids, um, you know, to add more challenge, you know, to cover more territory, you know, um, you know, go on a go on a nice long bike ride, um, you know, or you know, try to you know take time to think about the what you're seeing in nature and and things like that. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. Brady's got a question. Let's see. How, oh, hot wells. Oh, mineral. Let's see. Yeah, um, actually, so yeah, along the Mission Reach, one of the cool places you can park or stop is the um, the ruins at Hot Wells. And um, 
but yeah, that so that connects up. There's a trailhead right there that gets you on the the mission reach, and um, it's it's not far from there to. It's, I think Mission County Park is kind of just across the river from there, and uh, uh, yeah, that's a, but that's a really cool because there's the ruins of the old hotel, and uh, you can't like go in the ruins, but they've kind of stabilized them, and you can. It's a it's a good place to take pictures, and um, that's a good a good park um, for accessing. Um, but yeah, there's that's that's I think what we're still discovering. I kind of wish there were uh, like just better guidance about like you know what the what the trailheads are like if if, if, some, if there's something like that out there that explains like you know these are these are the trailheads these have parks these have bathrooms things like that um you know i point, point me in the right direction um because um well i don't want these trails to get overwhelmed <laughs> but the fact is they're just they're huge there's i mean they go on for miles and miles and i think there's a lot more capacity uh for people to use the greenway trails and um yeah, I guess just, you know, in the summer, you know, be smart, bring water, get an early start, um, you know, don't overdo it, um, you know, make sure your pets are safe, you know, not burning your feet on the hot pavement, things like that. Um, but we've got a, a couple more weeks of what looks like fairly relatively mild spring weather for Texas. And uh, yeah, so that's that's my that's my download about, well, I guess I didn't mention the, like the kind of West Side Creeks, um, but yeah, like Woodlawn Lake, Elmendorf Lake, um, yeah, there's just stuff. I mean, it's all it's all over the city. So let me one more view of the map. I will drop a link to that um, where you can download and you know just yeah. And if you if you zoom in on Google Maps, you'll find like where they mark the trailheads and some of them are a little out of the way, but um, you know that's kind of part of the fun of discovering it. Um, let's see, Brady's asking about Comanche Lookout Park. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's um, that's kind of up on the northeast side. Um, Comanche Lookout Park has um, like well you can't climb the tower but there's a there's like an old stone um uh, tower there and there are some places where you can stand and like see all the way to downtown even like over even though it's like really really far away but it has some beautiful views um i don't think that there there's a nice like there are kind of loops of trails in community lookout park um but as far as i know it's not connected um to any of the green whale greenway trails um I've, I've heard about um, parks, you know, kind of further the Northeast that have, um, you know, good good open space and things like that. So if you're uh, someone who lives on the Northeast side and you wanna, you know, or if you're in like Universal City or Garden Ridge or something like that, and you wanna share some tips, you know, drop that drop that in the comments or like, you know, come into the Turner Rose discussion group and we can kind of share some share some knowledge about that. So um, yeah, so that's my, that's my download about, um, uh, the Greenway Trails. I hope you'll give it a try. You know, um, tag SA Charter Moms in your in your posts about you know which trail you went to and and what you found. Um, and uh, like I said, next week we're going to talk more about kind of this idea that you can learn that kids can learn everywhere. And um, this was kind of a warm up for that of you know that um, you know there's lots of stuff about like our our city and history and nature and water that you can learn uh, from the Greenway Trails while you're you know burning off energy and uh, being outside. Oh, <laughs> thank you too, Brady. Thanks for listening. Um, yeah, I hope this gives people some inspiration and uh, helps you get outside and um, have a good weekend. Take care.